Hey everybody, today I'm working on a new course called The Solo Bluesman. It's going to be 20 licks that will allow you to navigate an entire 12 bar blues in the key of E. And so today, in preparation for that, I thought I'd share with you one of the licks that I'm working on that has a lot of very interesting elements. Looks and sounds like this. A one, two, and three, and... A great little lick that you can play over top of an E shuffle. Let's hear it one more time. First at full speed. One, two, and three, and... And real slow. One, two, and three, and four, and a... Okay, so that started off with the E shuffle, taking us up to... One, two, three, and... Then on the four end, uh, we're going to play sliding up to the sixth fret of the G string, then five and five on the B and the high E string. It's always good to picture a solo in position. In this case, I'm picturing BB's box in the key of E. Okay, so so far we have one measure of music. A one, two. Three and four and duh. Next we're gonna play. All right, get that into your ear. Let's get that down first. That was seventh fret high E string, walking down chromatically, high E string. Then we're gonna play. Three, zero, zero. So far you have one, two, three, and four, and a. All right, from there, we're just gonna play. That was the third fret of the B string, then zero, zero. Before next, we're gonna slide up to an E7 chord. All right, this is a D7 shape transposed up a full step. That makes it an E7 chord. So, I'm sliding up into that shape and then do it an upstroke on the high E string, maybe the B string too. All right, you add that into the mix, and we're gonna have one, two, and three, and four, and a. All right, from there you can jump right back into the progression. So one, two, three, and four, and a, one, and a, two, and a, three, and a, four, and one. Just like that, you're right back into the chord progression. A fantastic lick for you to practice when you want to mix together some rhythm and lead technique.